This is a review of the EasyCap 280 video game capture device. This capture device can capture your game footage at 1080p at 30 frames per second. It's a great cheap alternative to the more popular Elgato, which does have more features but also costs about twice as much. If all you wanted to do is simply capture your game footage, this device is simple to use and works solidly. Here's a quick shot of all the technical specs listed on the box and I'll go over most of them in the rest of the video. Inside the box you'll find the capture device, as well as a set of component cables, a short HDMI cable, a power adapter, as well as an instruction manual, and software CD. Now for the capture device itself, it measures about 4 inches wide and 3 inches long. The bottom part has heat vents on it. Taking a look at the front, on the left hand side you have the USB host port and here you'll connect your flash drive or hard drive to record your footage on. It also has three ports with the line in and out as well as a mic port. And on the right hand side you have your one touch record button and the LED status light right next to it. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that a little bit later in the video. And on the back end, you'll have your HDMI output and HDMI input, as well as your component input and a port for your power. For your inputs on HDMI or component, you'll connect your game device to it and your output will be connected to your TV or monitor. Here I have the capture device all hooked up, indicated by the green LED light. Don't mind the HDMI switcher up on top. For this example, I'll be using an external SanDisk SSD hard drive. And normally when you push the record button, the LED status light will turn red. But since there's nothing hooked up, nothing will happen. If I go ahead and hook this up and immediately push record, you'll see that it doesn't actually record. You'll need to make sure to wait a few seconds for the flash drive or hard drive to connect. And after you've done that, if you push the record button, the LED light will turn red and start recording your game footage. And once you're done recording, you can go ahead and push the button again and the LED will start flashing for a bit. And once it turns green, you're safe to remove the device. If you're shooting longer game footage, I would recommend waiting a little bit longer just in case. One thing to note, if you're planning on recording on the PS4, make sure you go into your settings, scroll all the way down to system, and make sure that the enable HDCP is checked off. You want to make sure you do this before you hook it up or you won't get any video feed. I'm sure there's a similar setting for the Xbox One and for the Nintendo Switch there are no settings you need to adjust. If you're using a receiver, I would recommend running the capture card before the receiver or you might encounter problems. Here we have some actual gameplay footage captured with the EasyCap 280. And as you see, the video quality seems to be pretty decent. However, there might be a bit of blur that you see. And unfortunately, this is caused by my video settings. Since the video settings on my camera and the video game capture card are different, it was hard to match it up in my video editor. However, I'll try and make a separate video showcasing just the video game footage. Here I'll be showing gameplay footage of a music rhythm game called DJ Max and this will show that there's no lag when you run your video feed through the capture device. So as you see, I'm hitting the notes relatively in sync here and that should give you a good indication that there is no lag when the video is routed through the EasyCap capture device. And as I mentioned before, you'll probably notice a blur in this fast moving game, but rest assured the original video quality is nice and smooth. 
In the end, if all you require is 1080p at 30 frames per second, the EasyCap 280 is a great way to capture game footage. The price runs at roughly $60, and if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and leave a like or comment below. For more videos on random tech, gadgets, and hobbies, be sure to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button.